Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to write an inequality with one variable. So when it comes to inequalities, there are a total of six possibilities, which are greater than, equal to, less than, equal to, greater than, less than, or just simply equal to and not equal to. Well, the last two, which are equal to and not equal to, are not usually used, so we'll be only focusing on the first four. So once again, they are greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than and less than. Okay, so our first example says 17 is greater than m. So what we're really doing in this video is we're going to be taking these words and we're going to write a mathematical form of an inequality. And it does consist of variables. And remember that a variable is just a lowercase letter that is used to represent an unknown value in mathematics. So in our first example, our variable is the letter m. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do in order to write our inequality is to underline our key terms. Okay, so this is actually going to help us write in writing our inequality. So what I mean by key terms is just things that are important or that stand out. So one of the things that is the number. So we have 17. So what this is telling us is that 17 is greater than the variable m. So the first thing that we're going to write down is the number 17. Next, we see that it says greater than. The symbol for greater than in mathematics is the symbol right here. And an easy way to remember this is think of it like an alligator mouth. So if the alligator mouth is open to the left, so this is the opening, okay? So if it's open to the left, that means it is the greater than sign. So we're going to go ahead and write down the greater than sign. And then the last thing that it says is 17 is greater than m so m is our variable we don't know the value of the letter m but so this is our va variable so we're going to bring this down and there we have it our inequality so 17 is greater than m and remember we write it just as it's um uh, said so 17 is greater than m okay so this was our first example our next example says z is less than 67. once again um, underlying your key terms so we have our variable which is z and it's telling us that this variable, this unknown value, is less than the number 67. So once again, we're going to bring down our variable first, because remember, it's going to be written exactly how it's set. So z is less than, and the symbol for less than is the opposite for greater than. So if the mouth in the greater than is going to be open to the left, and less than is going to be open to the right. So you're going to bring this down over here. So z is less than, and then finally our number, which is 67. So if you're trying to find the value of the uh, variable z, we already know that it is less than 67. Okay, so this was our second example. Now let's scroll on down to our last two. So it says f is greater than or equal to 8. Now these just because it says greater than or equal does not mean that it's complicated or anything. This is exactly how you're going to write it, just as you did for greater than and less than. This is exactly the same thing. So, once again, underline your key terms. So, our variable in this um, statement is f, and then it's telling us that it is greater than or equal to the number 8. So, that means the value of f it is either going to be 8 or it's going to be greater than 8. So it's equal to 8 or it's greater than this number 8. So in order to write this, first we're going to write our variable So because it comes first in order. So we have f and it says greater than or equal to. The sign for greater than or equal to is first the greater than symbol. So we know that, remember, the mouth has to be open towards the left. And for equal to, you're not going to put an equal to sign in front of it. You're actually just going just gonna to put a line underneath that symbol. So this symbol tells us it is greater than or equal to. So we're going to bring the symbol down. Oops, okay. So we're going to bring this symbol down over here in our inequality. So f is greater than or equal to. And then finally, our variable, which is 8. I'm sorry, the number, which is 8. So the value of f is greater than or equal to the number 8. So f is greater than or equal to 8. Okay, our last example. So 7 is less than or equal. Sorry, the spelling error. This should be equal. 
Okay, so 7 is less than or equal to the variable n. So first we have the number 7, and it's telling us that it is less than or equal to the variable n, which is an unknown value. So remember, first we're going to bring down our number, which is 7, and then less than or equal to. So once again, for our greater than or equal to, the symbol was a greater than mark and then a line underneath it. This is pretty much the same thing except you're going to use a less than mark. So the mouth is open towards the right and then you put a small line underneath it. And this is the symbol for less than or equal to. So you're going to bring the symbol over here, less than or equal to, and then it says the variable n. So this means that the value of n is going to be greater than or equal to 7 because if you read it uh, backwards it's telling us that 7 is less than or equal to n so n is going to be greater than or equal to 7. Okay so that's all for this video I hope you guys learned uh, how to write a inequal an inequality from different statements and we'll see you guys next time bye